Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic, and this week we are reanimating in modern with the help of our good friend Siege Rhino, so let's talk about our abs and right slash reanimator deck, jump into some games, See it in action. All right, so here is our Abzan Reanimator deck. And the deck is trying to do kind of one thing, which is get big things out of the graveyard really quickly. We got old standby and burial rights, which really powerful things to flashback. We can just mill it over and then cast it from our graveyard. But the big new addition persists just reanimating something, not legendary, which is fine. We don't have any legends for two mana, which is way above the curve for modern. As far as getting cards into the graveyard, the big new addition, Unmarked Grave, just our modern and doom tutoring a non-legend into the graveyard. We also have Seder Wayfinder, Grizzly Salvage, to hit our land drops, find our stuff, stock the graveyard along the way. Bone shards can let us discard something while also working as removal. As far as what we're reanimating, we got a couple different options. Archon of Cruelty, Ashen Rider. Those are our two big finishers. We also have Siege Rhino, which might not sound like the most exciting reanimation target, but one of the things I love about this deck is we're not totally reliant on the graveyard. Let's say our opponent rests in peace us, or Ley Lines of the Void us. We can still win by casting Siege Rhinos, and maybe a eventually casting an Archon or something, but we have plans to win without our graveyard as well. Eternal Witness just offers some value, and it works really well with our other sneaky plan, which is Ephemera. You might notice Archon of Cruelty, Ashen Rider, Siege Rhino, Eternal Witness, all of our creatures have ETB triggers. Ephemera is kind of insane with them. We can, like, reanimate an Ashen Rider, exile something, blink it with Ephemera, exile something else, blink it again with Ephemera, exile something else, and we can do this as early as, like, turn three, which is absolutely insane. Archon of Cruelty makes our opponent sack stuff and gain a bunch of life. Siege Rhino just draining our opponent out of the game. Eternal Witness, really cool loop with Ephemera. We can use the first Ephemera to target whatever, Blink and Ashen Rider. The second one with Rebound can target Eternal Witness, which can get back Ephemera, so we can do it again and kind of have a weird lock with some of our other stuff. Otherwise, Lingering Souls, some more graveyard value. Mana base, pretty functional for budget. A little bit all over there, a lot of pain, but we can mostly cast our stuff. As far as the sideboard, we got Graveyard Hate, we got Artifact Hate, we got Life Gain, we got Tron hate, we got some removal, and that is Abzan right slash Abzan Reanimator for Modern Noon Improved with MH2. That's our budget magic for this week, so let's jump into some games, see if Siege Rhino is back, thanks to some new reanimation synergies. Thanks for watching, I hope you all enjoy it, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap up. Need some new Modern Horizons cards? Well, you can order them today from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, by heading over to cardkingdom.com. Budget magic time. We are, well, reanimating Siege Rhinos and Friends in Modern, and we're going to keep this. I mean, we'll see if our opponent has Discard or <laughs> randomly main that Graveyard Hate, but in theory, turn two Unmarked Grave, turn three Persist should be pretty good. Lanoware Waste, go. Ooh, Tron, okay. Chromatic Star. Oh, please, no Graveyard Hate. Ghost Corner. Unmarked Grave. Ashen Rider. Go. I mean, Ashen Rider on the Tron Lands. Big game. Opponent gonna crack. Wouldn't mind just drawing a... Uh-oh. Please, not a Relic. Well, I guess we could get around a Relic, couldn't we? This turn. Wouldn't mind hitting Lands. Lands would be sweet. You know, land and then Ephemerate. To start blinking Ashen Rider would be spectacular. Oh, Sanctum of... Interesting. Okay, Tower. Expedition Map. Well... Looks like we're gonna get to exile a Tron. Oh my God, that's ephemera. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, okay. This might be working. Persist Ashen Rider. Get rid of Urza's Tower. Pass the turn. Seder Wayfinder, untap white mana. Blanket. Opponent, Sanctum of Ugin. Passes. Untap white mana, please. Come on, come on. Oh, let's, let's, let's stick it to Tron. I mean, I guess if we're super desperate, we could go score to ourselves, but that's not ideal. We probably just Seder Wayfinder and trust that it's gonna, gonna pay off. Opponent's gonna sack the map now? Interesting. Chromatic Sphere. Chromatic Star. Well, we will trust our Seder Wayfinder. All right, that's untap white mana. Play it on white. Go to combat. Hit you with the Ashen Rider. Oh, and we milled another one. Okay. Ephemera Ashen Rider. Eat your Tron land. <laughs> oh, this is, this is the dream. This is the dream being lived. Opponent. Should have cracked your map, I guess. 
<laughs> well, that's why we have Ephemera in our reanimator deck, Ponet, Chromatic Sphere. Passes. Mm hmm. Imagine that. Ephemera to Ashen Rider. We will get rid of... Ah! We'll get rid of your will to play! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Well, unfortunately, our opponent's on Tron, which means Graveyard Hate is a thing. Fortunately, we got two Damping Spheres. We get two Fulminator Mages. We get two Vindicates. And we get possibly Knight of Autumns. We go down. So we got to expect Graveyard Hate. We got to fully expect our opponent's going to be hating on our Graveyard. We'll go down Lingering Souls. Not super necessary or helpful. We'll go down... <sighs> A bone shard. Two bone shards. We'll go down, I think, Eternal Witness. We'll go down maybe an Archon. One Unmarked Grave, one Rhino. All right, let's try it like that. See if we can dodge the Graveyard Hey, I mean, that went as well as well could be, though. Like, that was... That was good. That was very, very good. Hmm, okay. Well, we can slow him down with these Damping Spheres. Expedition map. Uh, and we have a ghost quarter too. Okay, is it going? Let's go. Opponent, Urza's Tower. Passes. We win the Fulminator. Well, Lanowar Waste. Damping Sphere go. Let's slow things down. Fulminator Persist is kind of cute too. Opponent, Cracks. Yeah, look at this hand. Has a lot of hate for Tron. Gets a Blast Zone. Plays the Blast Zone. Passes. Well, we will. Caves of Coilos. Spend some life, Fulminator Mage. Go. Uh, opponent. Takes a Blast Zone. We'll blow up Blast Zone. Chromatic Star. Cracks it. Sanctum of Ugin. Ancient Stirrings. Sure. The question is if it's worth just persisting a Fulminator Mage. Who won Burial Rites too? It probably is. Let's persist Fulminator Mage. Blow up your Power Plant. Past the turn, Urza's Tower, Expedition Map. Well, Grizzly Salvage. Hopefully mill an Archon. Eh, we don't. We will take a, take a Forest, untap. Play the Forest, Unburial Rites Fulminator. Past the turn. I think we want to try to keep our opponent below four mana as well, because four mana is where they could be getting little Karn. Opponent gonna tutor up. A forest. Well, we will blow up, I guess, Sanctum of Ugin. Pass the turn. Forest for our opponent. Sylvan Scrying to get a land. Our opponent is not going easily. Gets a power plant pass as we draw more lands. Well, Unburial Rites. Fulminator. Blow up Urza's Tower. Planes. Go. Urza's Power Plant. Opponent passes. We've blown up a lot of lands, but I'm not sure this is going to lead to us winning. Unmarked Grave. Unburial rights. Unburial rights. Fulminator. Blow up your power plant. Will you please stop drawing lands, opponent? Or can we please draw an actual finisher? Urza's mine, opponent passes. Help field of ruin. Blow up your Urza's mine. Get a swamp. Opponent gets a forest. We will pass the turn. Opponent, tower. Karn. Wow, come on deck, give us a real magic card. Crucible of Worlds to get lands back. Seder Wayfinder, not especially helpful here, but we will play it. Mill a bunch of good cards, get a swamp, play the swamp. Yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't stop the Karn. We just couldn't find a finisher. Oh, we blew up so many lands and it wasn't enough. We couldn't find a, we couldn't find a way to actually close out the game. Wow, we blew up so many lands. I guess it's also like a little unfortunate that our opponent managed to draw 10 lands and they're like, whatever, 18 land deck. Opponent hits a relic of progenitus. Making things worse. Exiles a random card. Sure. Now you're out of lands. Now that we're, now that you got the card on the battlefield. Wow. Looks like we ran him out, but just too short, too late. I wonder, yeah, this crucible is going to come down and just ruin our day. Although it does mean our opponent can't really easily activate this relic. I wonder how many forests they have. I wonder if we can strip mine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, you, you played a relic, so you're getting taxed. Takes up Karn. Now well, let's see what we draw. We untap. Grizzly Salvage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, Grizzly Salvage. Take an Ashen Rider. We can't cast it yet, though. Go to combat. Hit the Karn. Hmm. Yeah. Pathway on white. Pass the turn. Yeah, we're a little taxed by our own damn big sphere here. Well, 
we will see. This is a good answer. Man, drawing, drawing ephemerate would make us incredibly happy. That would be the best. Opponent untaps. Play as Crucible, can start replaying lands. Okay, power plant. Takes up Karn. Passes. Well, come on, ephemerate. Oh my god, that is ephemerate. Okay, so that is very good. Very, very good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ashen Rider. Get rid of Crucible. Pass the turn. Well, attack the car and pass the turn. Okay. Okay, ephemerate. Okay, ephemerate. You can do it. You can do it. Opponent. Sure. We'll exile a land. The question is if we should activate Ghost Quarter. They probably have more than two forests. Opponent. Going to sack the relic. Uh, okay. Draws a card. Exiles the graveyards. Ghost Quarter power plant. Praying for the strip mine. All right. Opponent does have at least three forests. Well, we'll see what our opponent can get with Karn. We do want to be aware of Dismember. Dismember in response to Ephemerate would be annoying. Opponent taking down Karn. Well, I guess they can get back their Crucible of Worlds. I always forget that Karn can get things from Exile, too. What do you say? What do you say? I mean, so what we want to have happen is our opponent tap out for something. We can attack, kill the Karn, and then still have Ephemerate available to deal with future things. And we actually have a clock now, thanks to this Ashen Rider, which is big. Big, big, big. Wow, more Crucibles. Never-ending Crucible of Worlds. So they take the Crucible out of Exile. Their Blast Zone is gone, though. Opponent, Urza's mine. Worm Coil Engine. Well, we will Ephemerate Ashen Rider. Get rid of Worm Coil. Untap. Ephemerate Ashen Rider. Get rid of Urza's mine. Play Archon of Cruelty. Get rid of the Karn. Make you discard. Well, let's see if we can close out the game. That is the question. Best draw is probably another Ephemerate. The main worry is our opponent finding a Wrath. Ooh, persist. That's actually kind of sweet. Opponent discards Ugin. Takes one. Persist means if our opponent does find like an Oblivion Stone, we can just get the creature back because they cash in their graveyard eight. Opponent. Crucible of Worlds. Replays the land. Expedition map. Well, go to combat. Attack with everything. Make you discard. Draw a card. I guess an Ugin could still get us here. Wait. Opponent. To one. Ooh. Ooh, Shambling Vet. Shambling Vet. Okay. Pass the turn. Shambling Vet is our protection for an Ugin. If our opponent goes land Ugin, sweeps the board. I mean, I guess this Archon's big enough it survives anyway. I think we might be getting there. Wow. That was our plan working to prefection. Absolutely, absolutely ideal. Perfect. We blew up so many Tron lands. We blew up so many Tron lands. Opponent. What do you say? We beat a Karn. We beat a Nugan. We beat a Blast Zone. I guess what could get us is like blow up Damping Sphere Tron into something, maybe? Even that seems like kind of a stretch. We might just have this. Opponent. Land. All is dust. Good thing we drew Shambling Vent. Uh, we will get rid of Crucible of Worlds. Untap. Oh, that's even more fun. Siege Rhino. <laughs> the Rhino off the top. Not necessarily necessary, but uh, Siege Rhino comes in to steal the glory <laughs> after Ashen Rider and Fulminator did all the hard work. Well, that was pretty good. We definitely annoyed Tron forever. We didn't need the Rhino to win. We could have just tagged with Siege Rhino, but I mean, you gotta, you gotta give Siege Rhino the chance if you get it. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Budget magic time. We are... Ooh, 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 do we keep it? You know what? We're gonna keep this. One land, one keep. Oh... Oh, we're on the draw. We just need to land at our first two turns. And yeah, we're, we're definitely keeping. I mean, we have Unmarked Grave Persist. That's like our two card combo. Please don't thought sees us. Oh God. Okay. 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 Well, we have Persist <laughs> and Grizzlies. Like this hand's great. This hand's great. As long as we draw the lands to cast our stuff. Come on, magic gods. Reward us for our greed. Takes a persist. Bone shard. Okay, well, we'll play a land. That's that's not a land. Not a land. It's gonna it's gonna work out. It's gotta work out. The magic gods love Siege Rhino. <laughs> they wouldn't they wouldn't Profane Tutor. Huh? What is happening? Alright, land off the top. Alright, there's a land. We will unmark grave. Put a I guess Archon in the graveyard past the turn. 
A little worried about this tutor. A little worried about another discard spell. I don't know what's happening. Normally profane tutor means ad nauseum, but Blackleaf Cliffs is not ad nauseum mana. Blood Crypt. Untapped. And another profane tutor. Okay. Well, we will persist our Archon and see what happens. Make you discard. We get to draw a card. Another land would be fine. Siege Rhino. Opponent discards a land. Well, let's see what our opponent is tutoring up. Opponent. Profane Tutor. I mean, I assume, best case, they're getting a removal spell for Archon. Worst case, who knows? They're winning the game in some weird way. Are they just playing it for value? Ah, Waste Knot. Interesting. Burning Inquiry. Makes some mana. We discard mostly lands. Turok. Okay. Makes some mana. Makes a zombie. Inquisition. Well, I mean, our opponents had quite the turn. Gets to draw a card and grow their Turok. And plays a land. And they get another tutor for next turn. Good god. Opponent passes. Yeah, this is a, this is a tough, tough situation to be in. Bone Shard is sweet. That does get rid of the Turok, at least. Well, go to combat. Attack ya. Make ya discard. Draw a card. And sacrifice. Unfortunately, they managed to make a zombie, so. Opponent sacks a zombie. Discards. Well, we gotta be a little greedy. Seder Wayfinder, hit our land, hopefully. All right, we hit our land. We play Waste Knot. Or we play Land of War Waste. Bone Shard, sack. Pass the turd. All right, well, tutor number two. I assume they just get like a Burning Inquiry and try to try to Waste Knot their way back into it. Their safer plan would be to just get an Archon and hope that we do not draw a land. Because this Archon is lethal. Like, even if they make zombies and do things, one attack from this Archon does finish the game. Scoops it up? I'm surprised they didn't at least spin it to win it, but, well, all right, we'll take it. Staying alive, staying alive. What do we want against this deck? Little, little frightened. Definitely expecting much Graveyard 8. Knight of Autumn's in. Vindicate's in. What are we going down? So the issue is, huh. The issue is, if you're playing our opponent's deck, they gotta have a lot of Graveyard hate. And Graveyard Hate is very good against us. On the other hand, they gotta have the Graveyard Hate because they're helping us fill our graveyard and it's too risky to not have it. Let's go down one unmarked grave, a Bone Shard, and a Bone Shard? Yeah, let's, let's try it like that. At least this gives us some ways to blow up Graveyard Hate, which is important. Oh, geez. <laughs> it worked out last time. This was exactly, yeah, all right, sure. I mean, this is exactly what we kept last time. One land, multiple ways to reanimate something. Blonde Crypt, tapped. Land? Yes. Oh, well, land of war waste, go. About it. Swamp. Please not waste not. Suspends the tutor. Well, I mean, we're gonna play a planes and we're going to, we're gonna unmark grave and Archon and pass the turn. Well, we'll see. We'll see if they got the graveyard eight. Opponent taking down the tutor. Also wouldn't mind getting empty handed at some point. <laughs> as strange as that sounds, just to play around the waste knot that pretty sure is coming. Tutor taken down. Mountain. Waste knot. Naturally. And burning inquiry. Draws zombie zombie. Well, we will persist ashen rider. Get rid of the waste knot. Tap land. Pass the turn. Our opponent can tutor up another one, though. Opponent. Prove a tutor. See what our opponent gets. Definitely most worried about another waste knot, because that's a card that can let our opponent win the game. Graveyard hate. Maybe the damage is already dealt, and they just let it go. Opponent. Four mana. Turok. Passes. Well, we will Seder Wayfinder. Get a Plains. Play a forest. Pass. We'll just pass. This Turok is an issue. Opponent. Inquisition. Well, we will Grizzly Salvage. Wow, that's awkward. All right, take Eternal Witness for our opponent to steal. We were hoping to hit a land and fizzle this, but it wasn't meant to be. Turok taken up. Pro White means we can't block this with Ashen Rider. Opponent goes attacking. Right, we'll jump. Marsh Flats. Do they have Graveyard Hate? Swamp. Dreadhorde Arcanist. And Suspends. Well, play a land. Get back Archon. Opponent sacks a zombie. Discards our last card. We draw more lands. Well, go attack and hit you. Unfortunately, this means our opponent can, can flashback Profane Tutor. The bad news for our opponent is they do need to deal with our board. Inquisition is a whiff. 
I mean, if they can't deal with our creatures, they just lose. Like, straight up immediately lose. So they probably have to, like, try to profane tutor for a removal spell if they have one. Lightning Bolt's not going to do it. They need actual hard removal. And we do get to eat the, the Arcanist. And all right. <laughs> Better than expected. <laughs> Apparently our opponent does not have the removal spell. And, well, I mean, sweet. The deck is kind of working. Siege Rhino's back. Siege Rhino's back. Budget magic time. We are playing some Abzan Re animator and see what our opponent's up to well i mean this hand's not bad we're gonna keep it botanical sanctum graph digger's cage well i mean i guess that does make this hand worse now doesn't it uh well we will play this on white past the main deck graph digger's cage that is awkward well the good news is we got siege rhinos and stuff we can cast so even though we pro Probably can't reanimate. Yeah, that is unfortunate though. Opponent going to Thoughtseize. Probably playing Lantern Control, I guess, with Urza Saga. Yeah, this Craft Digger's Cage make us, uh, makes our hand way, way worse. <laughs> there are not too many decks in Modern that play main deck Craft Digger's Cage, but our opponent's deck appears to be one of them. Perhaps the only one of them. Uh, well, we will unmark Grave. Put an Ashen Rider in the graveyard past the turn. Ugh, now we're getting a little, little pathway punished. We were planning on using Seder Wayfinder to find our lands, but then that thought sees. All right, pathway on green. I mean, we're getting to, we're getting to the Siege Rhino part of the game. We can Grizzly Salvage. We don't have many cheap, any cheap main deck ways to get rid of this. I guess technically like Ashen Rider can do it, but that's a, that's a whole mess of man, opponent tap land. Pithing Needle. I can't believe there's main deck Craft Digger's Cage. <laughs> I can't believe it. Opponent, Pithing Needles on unburial rights doesn't do anything but sure well we will grizzly salvage take a caves of coilos untap land and rhino actually white green black whatever we don't need to take all that damage all right siege rhino go well maybe we keep drawing lands and we can get to this archon of cruelty opponent spire of industry i assume they're eventually playing towards either urza saga or ensnaring bridge another bone shards well that'll be a good one to take out of our deck during sideboarding opponent we're of invention to get ensnaring bridge. It is possible this is just a bad matchup. I mean, main deck, main deck craft trigger's cage is not common, so probably not our best matchup. Opponent plays a Tezzeret, takes it up, gets a Kodak Shredder. Well, that's a fast enough clock that we're probably going to concede pretty soon. Persist, yeah, let's go to, let's go to game two. We do have some good sideboard options and it's possible our opponent doesn't always have turn one graveyard hate. Uh, so, Vindicate's in, Kaya's in, Knight of Autumn's in, Duress is in, Bone Shards, unfortunately out, Lingering Souls out, go down a Siege Rhino, and maybe one Unmarked Graves? Uh, yeah, let's try it like that. Yeah, well, we'll see. This does give us some more answers. Whether or not that's enough to make this a good matchup, who knows? Definitely awkward to have Graph Digger's Cage in the main deck. <laughs> All right, so we get to play first. Oh, we'll keep it. We'll see. We got unmarked graves. We don't have any reanimation. Try them, go. Oh, but on it. Inquisition to take our Seder Wayfinder. Ah, oh, takes an unmarked grave. All right, and passes. I'll play a forest. Unmarked grave. Get a Ashen Rider, go. Lantern of Insight, and a land, and more Graveyard Hate. Well, we will play a Seder Wayfinder with, that's unfortunate, tap land, go. Opponent draws a card, plays a Glimmer Void, Inquisition to take our Seder Wayfinder, or maybe they take Lingering Souls. Oh, being betrayed by Seder Wayfinder is kinda brutal. Hitting our land drops would be helpful. Opponent. Pixis of Pandemonium, exiles a card, passes. Well, we will play a Seder Wayfinder. Get Stirring Wildwood, play Stirring Wildwood, go to combat, hit ya. Opponent Adepts, Doothy Voidwalker, interesting. Spell Spellbomb, well, let's see if our random dorks can get there. So we draw land. We will play, a, fire up our Stirring Wildwood. Go to combat, hit ya. 
caves of Koilos go? Well, opponents down to 14. If they can Thought Seize and then play our Archon for free, that should beat us. Opponent goes to combat. Attacks. Sure. Well, they give us the Ephemerate. I'll play this on, I don't think it really matters. White, I guess. String of Wildwoods. Go to combat. Attack ya. Oh, they have the War of Invention to get the Ensnaring Bridge. <laughs> Gripper Ether Grid on top. Yeah, I think that that locks it. Because now our opponent can just start shooting down our creatures. We now have a way to beat the bridge. They have the Lantern Lock. Oh, we'll pass the turn. Yeah, Lantern just might be a bad matchup for what we're trying to do. There's the Ether Grid. Well, we might as well Ephemerate a Wayfinder. Get a land. Opponent gets an Ether Grid. We're going to need a pretty miraculous series of events, I think. Okay, opponent sacks the Voidwalker to play a Kaya. Okay. Gains a bit of life. Opponent passing. Ephemerate rebounds. Might as well cast it. Seder Wayfinder gets us a land. Well, land of more waste. Go to combat. Attack Kaya. Opponent pings it. Well, our possible pathway to victory involves Archon and blinking it a bunch of times, I think. Opponent, gonna find more graveyard hate. But I mean, blinking Archon could actually do something. Opponent. Jeez, <laughs> all right, collective brutality. Opponent passes. Exile some cards. I'll play Land of War Waste. Play Archon of Cruelty. And get rid of the Kaya. Ooh. Ooh. We got to draw the Knight of Autumn. I think our opponent needed to exile that Knight of Autumn because that means we can blow up the bridge and now we can start attacking with Archon. That might have been a misplay by our opponent. Blowing up the bridge, actually, unless they find a Thought Seize, which they don't, like, I think that is a way we can win. All right, lands on top, sure. Sure, sure. Oh, yeah, our opponent needs to exile the, the Knight of Autumn. The lock is falling apart. Without the bridge to hide behind, our opponent's in, potentially in some trouble here. Opponent passes. Well, we will play a Knight of Autumn. Blow up Ensnaring Bridge. Opponent's gonna ping the Knight of Autumn, sure. Swamp. Fire up Stirring Wildwood. Hit ya. Draw a Siege Rhino. Put you to one. And I think we got him. I don't think there's one draw that gets our opponent out of this. Opponent gonna exile desperately. Finds a Pyrite Spell Bomb. Not relevant. Desperation Shuffle time. I mean, the thing is, even if our opponent gets a bridge, we have Rhino. An opponent, okay. Okay, okay. Well, I think our opponent misplayed, but uh, <laughs> against a deck that's playing a bunch of main deck graveyard hate, we are not going to complain at all. Maybe we bring in Callous Blood Mage? Hmm, is it even worth it? Probably not. Well, all right, let's, let's try that again. Okay, we'll keep. We got tons of reanimation, but no way to get something in the graveyard at the moment. Dark Slug Shores and Inquisition. I assume taking our duress. Oh, it takes a persist, okay. And a bobble, sure, sure, sure. A boot, it passes. I don't swamp and dress you. Wow, all right. Pono's got the all land hand at the moment. Like, if we can find a way to fill our graveyard, maybe we can just jank him out. Opponent, sacks to draw an extra card. Yeah. I mean, we know our opponent has a ton of great draws, so we would like to do it quickly. Grizzly, Salvage, Seder, Wayfinder, Unmarked Grave, something like that. Lantern. Top card's more lands. Opponent passes. Well, play Shambling Fence. Go. Yeah, more lands is not what we were hoping for. Opponent. Gonna find an Inquisition next turn. Plays a land. Passes. More lands on top. Well, Pathway on green. Pass the turn. Opponent. Draws an Inquisition. Plays a tap land. I assume the Inquisition are Persist. Yeah. Well, there goes our reanimation. Opponent passes. We draw more lands. Lingering Souls is sweet. Land. And Shamble. Hits you for two. Draw on another land. The longer our opponent keeps drawing lands, the better for us. This Lingering Souls can speed up our... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Desperation Library Shuffle. Into a bridge. All right. Not great. Well, play the pathway. Lingering Souls. Flashback, Lingering Souls. 
Pass the turn. Well, we need to find an answer to the bridge. That is the next step. Pony does need to stay empty-handed, because we have one one. So they have, to, they have to stay completely empty-handed to keep the bridge fully turned on. Pony draws a card. Another land. And passes. Well, Seder Wayfinder's fine. Play the Wayfinder. Get a Stirring Wildwood. Play Stirring Wildwood. Go to combat. Hit ya. Well, go go one one. Pony's down to 14. Land. Pixis. Well, that does mean we gotta stop attacking. Opponent starts activating in the blind. I think we're gonna cycle the triome into a land. Something real? Ephemerate. Play the land past the turn. I mean, we do get to play this Archon, which is something. Opponent draws a land. Activates Pixis in the blind. Well, all right, Archon. Find us a way to blow up this bridge. Seder Wayfinder. Well, Pathway on doesn't really matter. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Archon of Cruelty, draw a card, hit you a bit. Not a way to blow up the bridge, but we can blink Archon. Opponent hits another land. Oh man, activates Pixis. Siege Rhino. Well, let's play Seder Wayfinder. Get a Ghost Quarter. Ephemerate Archon into another land. Siege Rhino. Planes. Wow, we are so close. We're so close to doing it without being able to attack. Opponent draws. Underworld Cookbook. Okay. Activates Pixis. Well, if we draw a way to beat the to kill the bridge, we win. Ephemerate. Gonna blink the Archon. Hit you for three. Rhino also does it. We draw land duress. Sweet mother. Alright. <laughs> Wow! We have so many draws that win us this game. The food is actually kind of an issue. That turns off some of them. Discards to make a food. We've drawn roughly every land in our deck. Activates Pixis. We find... Oh my god, another land. Okay. Wow, this is... <laughs> the Pixis must be hitting all of our good cards and somehow making us draw lands every turn in the blind. You expect it with a lantern, but without a lantern, without a lantern, it is a little absurd. And now our opponent top decks a welding jar, perhaps their best card because it protects the bread. No way. Not like this. Oh, magic gods. Come on now. Come on now, magic gods. Oh, Oh, we were gonna beat Lantern. We were gonna beat Lantern, but then we draw to land 20 turns in a row. Oh, opponent, action. Oh, wow. More of invention. Probably better known as our opponent's best card. Again, gets a Lantern of Insight. Now our opponent can get rid of our stuff. And yeah, I think that's, well, they only get one activation, so I guess we'll see. But with this food, our opponent can start gaining life. Opponent. Wow, let's us draw Unmarked Grave. That's an interesting choice. There's no graveyard hate, right? There's no, wow, okay. Well, Unmarked Grave, Unburial Rites, Unburial Rites, Ashen Rider, Ashen Rider, Exiles Bridge does not care about Welding Jar, and that's game, that's game, we got him. We flooded out brutally, but we still got him. That is part of the power of Unmarked Grave. It can get reanimation or a reanimation target, thanks to Unburial Rites. What do you say, opponent? What do you say? Uh-oh, okay. Uh, yes, we will target Ensnaring Bridge. We will go to combat. We will attack for a smidge. Just a, just a little, just a little off the top. <laughs> oh, take that, Lantern. Take that, try to lock us. Main deck graveyard hate. Main deck graveyard hate, no problem. Siege Rhinos, overcome with the help of Archon Tribal. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Wow, we also ran ridiculously awkwardly with these lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We drew 14 lands. This is not a fetch land deck, so there's no there's no cheating. We just drew, somehow we have 14 lands on turn 13, and, uh, and yeah, we still got there. Sweet. Budget magic time. We are reanimating in modern this week, and uh, we will see. Sand can fill the graveyard, and we got a rhino. We don't have any uh, reanimation at the moment, though. Ugh, po -nint. Deciding on their mulligans. Polluter Delta. Cracks it. Godless Shrine. Esper Sentinel. So, Stone Blade of some kind? Uh, let's just play Land where ways to go. If our opponent has Stoneforge for Caldera, we'd pretty much lose. Godless Shrine untapped. Smuggler's Copter. Well, that's better than Caldera. Bonus hits us, down to 19. Ooh, there's a persist. That is exciting. Uh, so let's pathway on green. 
Seder Wayfinder. Uh, okay. We mill a Seizure Rhino, which is decent, but not not what we were hoping for for the Persist. The Smuggler's Copter is a bit of a annoyance. Opponent fires up the Copter. Gonna hit us for three and get to do some looting. I guess our opponent could be trying to reanimate too. Copter. Loots. Oh, okay. So it's some sort of vehicle deck. Huh. Interesting. Sure. Down to 16. Follow up. Another Esper Sentinel. Well, play the planes. Pass the turn. I don't like that we're going to let our opponent draw a card here, but we can't really get around two Esper Sentinels, and we really need to get something good in the graveyard. We need, like, an Archon or something. Opponent fires up Smuggler's Copter, goes to combat, hits us, loots, discards, a what? And it's harder to play around two Esper Sentinels. One we can play around easily, another Heart of Kirin. Well, we dropped a 13. Wow, no lands. Well, opponent gets to draw a card, unfortunately. So he can pay for one. Cannot pay for that one. Something big, please? No. Ay ay ay. Well, we will take a Land of War Waste. Untap. Oh! Hoo! So close, so close, so close. And yet so far. Well, Caves of Koilos. Siege Rhino. Hit ya. Go to combat. Attack ya. Opponent takes it to 11. All right, opponent, what do you got? Mardu, Tapland. Now, well, can they kill the Rhino? I guess that's the next question. Oh, it would have been so nice to, to mill that Ashen Rider. I mean, I guess we can persist to siege Rhino at some point, which is not nothing. Opponent. I mean, the big question is, can they kill the Rhino? That is a clock. Opponent hits us, and it undoes a looter scooter attack. Opponent loots, discards another smuggler's, so many vehicles. Discards another smuggler's copter, we drop to 11. Opponent passes. Ooh, bone shard is interesting. I'll play the land, go to combat, attack. Opponent takes it. Well, let's bone shard, as per sentinel, discard Archon. Pay, pay, kill a sentinel. Persist Archon. Get rid of another set, no make you discard. Go back up to 12, and opponent scoops it up. Whoo, okay. I mean, opponent got off to a fast start, but in the end, the Seizure Rhino comes through. Well, Knight of Autumn's definitely coming in. Could bring in, probably need Path for instant speed removal. Maybe Kaya? I don't know what the rest of our opponent's deck is. Or Vindicate? Vindicate can get a vehicle. What are we cutting? We can go down to Lingering Souls. Maybe one unmarked grave, maybe one bone shard, a satyr wayfinder, and <laughs> lingering soul is probably decent. It really depends on how much removal, uh, how much graveyard hate our opponent has. Let's go to the siege rhino, right like that. Oh. Uh... Okay, I kind of like this hand. I mean, this could be turn two Ashen Rider. We'll see if our opponent has Graveyard Hate, but opponent plays a one drop, Bone Shards discard, turn two reanimate. That is a that is a pretty good start. Godless Rider untapped. Cycle Street Wraith. Very unclear on what our opponent's deck's doing. Ooh, Asmore, okay. Well, Swamp. Bone Shards, discard Ashen Rider. Kill Asmore, pass the turn. Well, let's see if they got Graveyard Hate. Dragon Skull Summit. Cookbook, sure. Passes. Well, we will play Llanowar Ways. Persist. Please no surgical goals. Uh-oh. Extirpate. Well, that is a blowout. Yeah, that's not ideal. I'll pass the turn. Planes for our opponent. Smuggler's Copter. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's play Seder Wayfinder, see what we find. Seder Wayfinder. Forest. Play the forest. Pass the turn. Well, we get to play a Siege Rhino next turn. Opponent cycles Street Wraith. Polluted Delta. Toolcraft Exemplar. Well, that's pretty good because it lets our opponent crew the crew the looter scooter and start filtering. Hits us, loots, discards a land, we take it. Only one card in hand. Opponent passes. Well, pathway on white. Hit ya. Down to 13. Rhino. Down to 10. All right, I mean, that's what we got for the time being. That extra pate was huge for our opponent. Opponent cracks the delta. Triume. All right, land. I mean, opponent is down to nine, and we do have a siege rhino. Opponent's gonna keep crewing. Hits us. I mean, at this point, we kind of just want to draw more siege rhinos. <laughs> we have seen the graveyard eight. More siege rhinos seem decent. Opponent discards the smuggler's copter. Hits us. What's that last card? Opponent really needs removal, I think. Opponent passes. Ooh, on burial rights. That could do something. I'll go to combat. Hits ya. We got the GGs. And opponent scoops it up. Cannot overcome the siege rhino. And uh, yeah, that was uh, that was pretty good.
<laughs> Even through the graveyard eight. That's one of the things I love, love, love about this deck is we have the power. You saw it this game. This was a great example of it. Like we have the possibility of like turn to reanimate an Archon, maybe get a free win. On the other hand, if we get blown out by graveyard eight, I mean, playing Siege Rhinos is still a way you can win. Blanking them helps too. So I love that it's a reanimator deck that can play the fair game plan thanks to Siege Rhino. So, well, keep it going. Sweet, sweet. Budget magic time. We are playing some uh, some modern this week. Reanimating in modern. Oh, yeah. This a uh, little little weak to not having black mana. But if we draw a black source, look out. Unmarked grave and persist. That's a combo. That's a combo. Blood crypt untapped. Upload it passes. Black mana, please. No. Well, pathway on white. All right, all right. Well, that was the risk keeping this hand. We are playing budget, so. I think when I play budget, you just got to accept some some mana issues because you can't fetch up shocks. So, oh boy, Ragalon. Please don't take a black source. Gosh darn it, that's a black source. All right, awkward, awkward. Okay, we will draw a black card. Well, ha, 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 ha. Well, that's the true power of Ragavan. Mana screwing your opponent brutally. Opponent, dash is a Ragavan. Sure, hits us. That better not be a black source, I swear. I swear, Siege Rhino. Huh, joke's on you, we couldn't cast it anyway. This is not going well. Opponent picks up Ragavan. Boom. Ta our tap flag source. Well, the trio means we might do things in the future. The question is whether we live to the future, and I'm not sure we will. Like, our opponent's got a ridiculous amount of mana from this Ragavan. Eh, dash of Ragavan. Sure, opponent hits us. Another black source. Really good at stealing our black mana. Cracks the bobble. What do we do about this many treasures? Opponent picks up Ragavan. Draws a card. Well, Black Greed. Grizzly Salvage. Please find us a land. We will take a Swamp. Play the Swamp. Grizzly Salvage. Take a Caves of Coilos. Pass the turn. Well, we're set up to do things next turn. We're so far behind this Ragavan clock, though. Opponent. Ragavan. Imagine that. That shadow. Seal of fire. Well, we will unmark grave a Archon. Persist the Archon. Get rid of the death shadow. Make you discard. Caves of Coilos. Flashback lingering souls. Okay. We finally have some Ragavan defense. <laughs> Maybe we will stop. Our opponents dashed to Ragavan for five turns in a row, I think. <laughs> Maybe, finally, they will stop. I mean, we did nothing for a long time, but our opponent's down to eight, and we're the one that has the Archon. And if they kill it with a non-path removal spell, we can just reanimate it again. Are we actually going to win this after doing nothing for a really long time? Bolts are Archon, sure. Seal of Fire, I mean, that's fine. I mean, it's just coming back again. The Spirit Stonewall the Ragavan for now. About it. Gets Luris. Oh, if they go Luris Death Shadow, we get a huge blowout here. Huge, huge, huge. Yeah, okay. I mean, this this works. So opponent passes. We will bone shards. Discard lingering souls. Archon. Hey, you make a discard. And opponent scoops it up. <laughs> we took we took Ragavan to the face for for five turns in a row in one. Our opponent just dashed Ragavan, but they beat five treasures. They exiled our black sources and no no problem. We just we still still got there. Is this a Thrag Tusk matchup? Do we finally want a Thrag Tusk? So opponent, they gotta have graveyard hate. Probably much graveyard hate. Trim, trim. Bring in some removal. Yeah, I mean Thrag Tusk is castable at least. Maybe we go down to persist too, go five remove uh reanimation spells. Yeah, let's try it like that, because I definitely expect like Lurus decks usually have Nile spell bombs or whatever to uh to be looping yeah I mean we're gonna keep this our mana's tapped but we have grizzly salvage and we got a, a bit of a reanimation plan and we got a, a non-reanimation plan which is good against graveyard hate so I think that's fine bloodstained mire passes Ooh, Kaya could actually be really good. I think what we'd like to draw most is just an untap land untap lands mean grizzly salvage this turn instead of waiting another turn but Kaya's a nice sniper against against Desha. Don't dash a Ragavan. No, no, no. No, no, no. Opponent. Oh, they're going to dash a Ragavan. And they steal the untapped mana. The Ragavan is like plundering all the mana sources that we need. Oh, Scourge of the Skyclaves. Okay. Oh, that's not the right untapped mana. Well, okay. Yeah, that's actually bad for us. Because this is a, 
a death shadow that dodges Kaya. There's the Thossies. Yeah, we might uh we might be in trouble. We might be in trouble here unless we draw a way to kill this like now. I would probably take Grizzly Salvage, but opponent takes Kaya. Seal of Fire. Cracks it for some reason. Hits us. Oh, to grow that. Hits us. Removal, please. I guess Lingering Souls could chump for a turn. God, let's try. Oh, no, more. Archon. Yeah, all right. Well, that was not as close. <laughs> Not as close at all. Well, run it back. Yeah, we just couldn't find a removal spell and got off to a pretty slow tap land start. If we could have, if we could have Grizzly Salvage on two, maybe we have a shot because we could hit a Lingering Souls or something. All right, we get to play first. And, well, okay. We got removal this time. Hopefully we don't get Thought Seize too brutally. And, uh, and we got the Swag Tusk, which could be very good. The downside of Scourge of the Skyclaves is it goes on the highest life total. So if we can buff our life total, we can still deal with it. And this hand also just has the upside of potentially just Grizzly Salvage, mill something big, persist, and free win. Bloodstain my opponent cracks it. We would really like this not to get Thoughtseize because we're going to need the land. Dragon's Rage, Shanala. Um, yeah, play the forest past the turn. Opponent. Arid Mesa cracks it. Well, this is going to be a big Grizzly Salvage. Sacred Foundry. Ragavandash. Sure. Hits us. Yeah, we take it. Opponent exiles. Oh, an Archon that we really wanted in the graveyard. That's disappointing. Well, Grizzly Salvage. Mill nothing of relevance, but we can take a Seder Wayfinder. Play a... Play a Plains, and I think we actually just Lingering Souls... Lingering Soul is good blocker against Ragavan. We don't want our opponent to just keep dashing and making treasures. And then next turn we can try to Seder Wayfinder, try again to mill something. Man, losing that Archon was such a bummer. Ugh. So I know some people in the comments are probably going to be like, well, why didn't you use Grizzly Salvage first? It's random. There's just no way of, there's no way of knowing. So that's Shadow. Pretty big. Ooh, Scourge of the Skyclaves. Okay, no attacks. So we can actually kill the Scourge. Oh, this is actually going to be a huge blowout. So we get to play Caves of Koilos, Bone Shard, kill Death Shadow, discard Thrag Tusk, persist Thrag Tusk, go up to 21, kill the Scourge of the Skyclave. Yeah, let's get in with one, one spirit. Opponent down to 10 past the turn. <laughs> That was that was such a good threat. I'm glad we brought in the Thrag Tusk. Thrag Tusk comes through as a hero at the end to seal the deal. Did nothing all of our matches. And then right at the end, Thrag Tusk comes in to two for one away the Death Shadows. And uh and cement the, the victory. Opponent gets Alurus. Ragavan. Opponent passes. Ooh. Oh, oh, so good. So so good. So we will Seder Wayfinder. Get a, we already got a plane swamp. Let's take the pathway, play it, go to combat, attack with everything. See if and how our opponent blocks. Wow, just gonna chump Thrag Tusk? Yeah, let's do this. Let's ephemerate the Thrag Tusk, make a beast, gain some life, hit ya, lingering souls. Pass the turn, and I think this might be enough. I think this might just be enough about it. They can lure us, get back a Death Shadow, but does that actually do anything here? I'm not sure that it does. And our opponent gives us a GG, and that is a Thrag Tusk win. And that is, that is this deck kind of just crushing everyone. <laughs> All right, maybe we broke it. Maybe we broke it with Siege Rhinos and Thrag Tusks. <laughs> <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet. So what do we learn this week about Abzan right slash reanimator for modern ed? The deck kind of killed it. We went 5-0, and oh, and we got to see the true power of this deck. We got to see the fast reanimation stuff, which is the hallmark of the deck. The turn to reanimate an Archon, kind of free roll win the game. But we also got to see the resiliency of the deck, which is what makes me like this deck so much. The games where our opponent fizzles our reanimation with Graveyard 8, and we can still win with Siege Rhydos in Ephemerate Blix. I think Ephemerate is actually, like, hilariously good in this deck. It was very, very powerful. I think maybe it's still kind of underrated just how insane that card could be in modern, even though it's starting to see a little bit more play. So the new additions, really, really big. Having more cheap reanimation, having better ways to fill our graveyard, having removal that also stocks our graveyard, really, really big. Archon of Cruelty, of course, a great reanimation target for the deck. But we also got to see the old card shine. With Siege Rhino, 
maybe being back Siege Rhino was great in these games, responsible for a lot of our wins. Uh, so the deck is really sweet. If you like Siege Rhinos, if you like kind of graveyardy mid range decks, if you like the possibility of fast reanimator kills, I would definitely recommend it for modern, as far as non budget or upgrading, you should definitely check out the article over at mtgoldfish.com. Have a non budget list over there. But the biggest thing is really the mana base. The mana base, definitely functional in its current form. We didn't have too many problems not casting our spells. We did take a lot of damage off from our mana base in some games, but having like Archons and Siege Rhinos helps make up for that. But that's the biggest upgrade is just shock lands, fetch lands, maybe throw some thought seizes in somewhere. But really the main deck's pretty solid outside of the mana base. But again, you can see the full upgrade over at mtdgoldfish.com, also linked in the comments. So anyway, that's been Abs and Rights. That's been our budget magic for this week. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.